So right away, you may realize I have a bunch of new guys on my team. I got an Alex Gordon breakout, Jorge Posada, and Andrew McCutcheon have all joined the squad. And of course, if I got Jorge Posada, you know what that means. I completed the Yankees uh, collection. If I completed the Yankees collections, of course, I have Araldis Chapman and Dellen Batances right now on my team, making my bullpen much more formidable, and I feel like I can go to it a lot more often. I also have, uh, I also picked up... Uh, uh, Medlin for the bullpen as well. So my team is looking pretty damn stacked here. I had a ton of freaking tickets. So I uh, definitely hit up that ticket store and was able to get a bunch of uh, good players. I also got that the uh, the flashback uh, breakout Oral Hershizer as well, which is a card I don't really like all that much to be completely honest with you. And I'm doing a little hit and run here with Daniel Murphy. Honestly, it wasn't. It's going to be one of those things that wasn't necessarily going to be a hit and run. It was just that Turner got a bad jump and I didn't want to get thrown out. And Daniel Murphy is a great person to actually hit and run with because his vision is in the 90s and his contact against the righties is 99, I think, on this day. So David Wright's actually able to hit one into the gap right there, able to uh, leg out a double. And we are in business already in the first inning in this championship series game. So one thing I need to tell you guys is that I actually have been losing a decent amount lately and to the point where some of the games weren't even like fun to to watch and I like I'm getting beat badly they're just kind of like just all pitching duels so I don't have I some of them I didn't wind up saving they were just like really long games too when you play World Series opponents they tend to take a ton of time and make a lot of decisions and some of those games are like 50 minutes long and I just honestly didn't want to edit them uh, I can tell you this though I am still yet to defeat a World Series ranked opponent at least the good thing about when you're playing uh, World Series opponents is if they do beat you, you don't generally lose that many uh, ranking points. I am 0 and 13, 0 and 13 against World Series opponents, and my total record is 32 and 17. Isn't that insane? So pretty much, if I'm facing anybody that's not in World Series, for the most part, I have a really, really good chance of winning, and I've been destroying them. But when I face these World Series guys, I don't know. It seems they always just eke me out at the end. I am gonna post one though. There was one that I played today so that will probably be a video within the next couple days so i'm a few days behind because i have been recording a bunch but i haven't really gotten a chance to make a video so i'm making a video you know right about meow so i can get something up for you guys today on this uh thursday i'm going to try to get some videos out for you every day you know coming up for the next over the next few days just because i haven't been on it as much as i would like to be and i know i've been gaining new subscribers as well so hello to everybody that is new to the channel we are uh, really trying to make it to that World Series division. Um, so we've been fluctuating between high DS and low Championship Series. The highest that we've gotten thus far is an 851, I believe. 851 was my highest ranking, and uh, then it kind of went downhill from there. It put me up. Actually, at one at one point, I faced six straight World Series opponents, and I lost four of those games by two runs or less. Which is very unfortunate. Um, you know, it is what it is. But if I'm going to get into the World Series, I'm going to have to eke out a win against one or two of them. The good thing about that, though, is if you beat one of those guys, you probably get like 30 to 30 to 45 points on your ranking. So if you beat one of them and then just weather the storm and go 500 against them, and then you know, I don't know, something. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I should have been in the World Series a while ago. I started out like uh, I think my my record was 17 and three at one point. So it's been a little bit of a rough stretch as of late. But I'm trying to get there. I'm still hopeful that I can get there before uh, May 15th. So I only have today's the 11th. I only it's only uh, four days to be able to get there, and I, that means really I only have today and tomorrow because I'm not going to get a chance to do it this week. And I'm extremely busy. I have a lot on my plate. So I have today and tomorrow really to be able to to do that. Actually, I'm going to a concert on Sunday night as well. So I'm not going to be here at night. I'm going to actually go see Metallica and Avenged Sevenfold um, at MetLife Stadium, East Rutherford. New Jersey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I haven't seen them in a few years. I've seen them, I don't know, eight or nine times at this point. So this is probably going to be, I think this is going to be my tenth time seeing them live. So uh, it'd be nice to say that I saw them, you know, a dime, a dime. <laughs> you know, we get the pitcher striking out right here. So this this opponent was actually uh, giving me some issues early on. I've been having a lot of issues hitting lately. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, like I was saying, I think there's something going on with my controller. Pretty sure, actually. It seems that um, even when I go straight down, I always turn to go down and to the right. So if anybody pitches me down the middle, I can't hit it all of a sudden. I, I don't know 
what it is. It used to be I used to get trouble when it was right down the middle, but now if it's middle up or middle down, it seems I always drag the joystick to the right. And I did an experiment with another one of my controllers, and it wasn't happening, but all my controllers have some some issue, like I was saying in in the uh, in the last video. So I'm more than likely gonna have to buy another controller, which kind of stinks because I just bought this one like two months ago, and I already have three. This is my fourth PlayStation controller. I, I can say one thing about these these PS4 controllers. They seem not to be as durable as the Xbox uh, and Xbox uh, One controllers. Uh, my Xbox One controller, although I haven't played it anywhere near as much as I've played the uh, PlayStation. I mean, I had I had Xbox One for for two years before I got a PS4 though, so never mind. It had plenty of time to, and I've had a PS4 for about two years now, so it had plenty of time to get worked into, and that thing still works uh, pretty damn well. So I wish these things were a little more durable. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know what it is otherwise. Um, it, it's possible there's some interference in my room with all the uh, in the room where I have my um, my equipment because it's kind of all uh, pushed together. I, I moved it from where it was previously, which I don't know. It, it kind of coincides with me moving it that things just aren't uh, don't feel as right. Like there's there's time when you go online and things just feel a certain way. You know what I'm saying? They feel smooth and whatnot. It hasn't been feeling smooth or as of late. But then again, whatever. No more no more complaining about this. Let's just uh, talk about the gameplay a little bit. So we got Jake Arrieta here, who I, this, I don't think this is Jake Arrieta's debut game for me, and I got to get a, get a nice uh, pitcher's count here, and I wound up hitting him, and I was kind of nervous over here, so I was like, screw this, we're bringing Glenn Perkins, I know I was throwing a shutout, but I don't want to waste, I, I don't want to uh, risk it, at this point, I've, there have been games before where I've let, kept the pitcher in one guy too long, and it just, just completely screwed me, and I was like, I'm not letting Reggie Jackson face a righty, and it was weird that Perkins came up, and said he was getting tired, when he was only, he, I put him in as soon as he was done warming up, Pretty much, and then when I did warm him up, it said he had full energy. So I, I don't know. I haven't. That's the first time I've experienced that this far in this game. And here's Alex Gordon here. And Alex Gordon is able to rip one into the gap, guys. I really like this Alex Gordon card. He's a fantastic fielder. His speed isn't great, but he plays left field, so 62 speed is more than fine. His arm is an absolute freaking canning. He's a really, really good hitter against the righties, and a pretty damn good hitter against the. Lefties too for lefty and lefties a really solid card. I would say if you get the tickets, go get them. Especially if you're trying to get that um, Eddie Matthews card, because you need to get lock 50 breakout players. So I would say get him if you're if you're looking to do that as well. I mean I'm never going to start that Eddie Matthews, and I bring in uh, Reggie Jackson here, and he intentionally walks me to get to Glenn Perkins, and of course I'm not going to let Glenn Perkins hit. Are you, are you kidding me? So we bring in Brandon Crawford off the bench, and so pretty much I have Brandon Crawford on the bench because he plays multiple positions. And he's a left hand bat. So if I want to switch for uh, Trey Turner. So more or less is what I'm doing. And Trey Turner's just a, a more versatile player is why I have him starting. But Crawford's able to come here with a base hit. Keep the line moving. We got Trey up here. See if Trey can come up big. Takes a ball inside. Like I was having, like I said, I was having trouble uh, catching up to some uh, fastballs and stuff. He throws me some junk at this point. This time I am looking for a fastball. Looking for that fastball. He doesn't give it to me. So I spit on that. I sit on that. Uh, Slider, let that go. I'm not going to swing. That was a good pitch. I have trouble hitting those. And he gives me a fastball inside, and I turn on it. And we're able to score in two runs. And Turner is just turning it up for me lately. Actually, Turner's been really, really good for me as of late. He's been uh, starting a lot of rallies and even driving in runs like he did right there. So we got Murphy up right now. See if Murphy could uh, get something in. And we make good contact. We actually did a hit and run there. And I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it had a chance of going up the middle if I didn't actually do a hit and run. It is what it is. It seems that players are able to... Uh, even though there's a hit and run, they're able to turn a little bit faster than they can actually in real life. So we actually have Roberto Asuna up here right now, who's another one that I added to my team. So there's a lot of debuts in this one. And Roberto Asuna was not doing me too well. And I was able to pretty much hit my spots here. I was a little early on that one, but I hit my spot. And, you know, it was one of these BS. He was, it was inside. He was late. He was able to take it the other way. Those hits are still happening to me, although I very rarely get them. It seems that they're happening to me a ton though those inside just late you know bombs that people are hitting off me I mean I did hit one the other day that was just late but you know what it was out over the middle of the plate actually on the on the opposite on the outer third and ugh, Murphy uh, this is that's the one reason why I don't like having Daniel Murphy as my starter he's a fantastic hitter but he can't field for anything I lose out on double plays a lot field plays like that that Kinsler would make he's not able to make so Murphy is a liability in the field, he's probably better suited for like first base, but I'm not going to play him at first base. The only place I can play him here is second base because of who I have at my corners. So I actually wanted to bring in Chapman here instead of Batances because I wanted him up here to face uh, Kenny Lofton because Kenny Lofton uh, is a much better hitter against the righties. And Chapman, I feel, is just 
going to be more difficult to hit lefty righty than Batances is righty lefty. So I figured that's what I would do. I'm not able to, uh, I wanted to try to strike out Lofton to get to two outs. Wasn't able to do that. He was able to drive one into the gap and uh, be able to sacrifice the runner in. But Alex Gordon was able to make a nice catch over here to uh, to end the inning. So we stopped the bleeding. We're up 4-2 to two right now. David Wright comes in again. And David Wright is, like I said, he's one of my favorite cards. Like, he's one of the few cards in this game that has that, like, uh, that push tendency. So you can actually drive the ball the opposite way very, very well, even when you're beat inside on him. And it's not really BS with him because that's the way the card is set up to do, and that's what he did in real life that year. And that's what he pretty much did his whole career is just drive balls the opposite way. And then, of course... I swing at some garbage. I've been having trouble check swinging lately too. I think that's another. That's why I'm, another reason why I'm pretty sure my controller is just kind of shot at this point. Tried to check my swing there, and I, I did a full swing right there and go around to a double play on a ball that was nowhere even near the strike zone. But Melvin Upton Jr. is actually able to rip one up the middle to keep the keep the inning going here. Start a little uh, two out rally, and then uh, Gordon is also able to uh, get a hit right here. I try. I was gonna go the third, but I'm like, you know what, cardinal cardinal sin to make a third. To make the third out at third base, so you don't want to do that. You're going to score on a base hit anyway. And then look at this. You have a nice little um, ball in the dirt here. We got a full count here with Posada. And Posada, this was actually really, really good at bat. It was a really long at bat. I actually didn't want to show the entire thing. But we have a full count here. Once again, we spoiled off a few pitches. And then he tries to get me to chase on a cutter. I don't <laughs> I don't know why a cutter down in the dirt. He gets me to chase. And then he brings in Andrew Miller. I'm not going to let Reggie Jackson face him. At this point, so I'm like, you know what, screw this. We're going to bring in Locane, who absolutely crushes lefties. I'm going to hope that he gives me a fastball first pitch. And what does he do? He doesn't give me a fastball, but he gives me a, uh, like a hanging slider on the outside uh, corner. And Locane is able to drive him in. So I think Locane is a debut game as well. Yeah, I got a lot of new guys on my team. I finished a lot of Team Epics as well. So we're bringing in Kinsler, another Team Epic who's not making his debut. We've used Ian Kinsler before. And uh, he fouls one straight back. I was just, uh, I guess I wasn't just off that. Seems like I was off it a ton. He just misses the corner here, so we got a one-on-one -on -one count. I'm in sitting in the driver's seat here. I'm waiting for something. I get a nice pitch to hit, and I think I get under it. I, oh, no, I was over it, way over it. Good timing, just totally missed my uh, my spot. And Kinsler is able to fight one off and drive it in for yet another insurance run, putting us up, giving us a nice four-run cushion again. So the two runs that we gave up, we get right back. And we have Turner up here, who has been so clutch for us as of late, but is not able to drive in any more runs. But that's okay. We have a four-run lead for uh, Dallin Batances here, who, of course, gets greeted rudely by Matt Holliday with a nice little single into left field. So at this point, I'm like, oh, here we go again. What the hell do I need to do to just win a game? Like I said, I've been pretty much playing 500 ball for the past uh, 10 days or so given most of my bosses are against World Series opponents, but not excuse because if I want to be in that World Series division and get that flashback Goldie, I have to be able to beat those guys, you know, at least occasionally. You know, I can't be 0-13 or 0-14, whatever the hell I am against them, and expect to, I think it's 0-13, and expect to be able to get into the World Series consistently. You know, it's just not going to happen. So I do need to start playing better. These guys are really good. They make really good pitches all the time. And it always seems like whenever I do square things up, like, you know, it's it's almost like um, the way it works. It's like a lottery. And based upon your player stats, how the higher probability of them getting hits. There were a lot, there are a lot of uh, times I'm playing where uh, I'm not squaring the ball up very nicely. And David's able to fight one down the line for a nice uh, double over here. Love this David card. Absolutely love this card. You guys got to get this card. Just a fantastic card, especially when you get up into the uh, the harder difficulties when, when, with the Hall of Fame against World Series players. You need guys with good PCI. It's another reason why I don't really like this Melvin Upton that much anymore. And I don't think I'm going to... Once I get a better some better outfielders, I'm not going to use him much anymore. I'm going to use him more off the bench because his PCI is just really, really small. I strike out a ton with him, which is, which is accurate because what he does in real life too. It's what he was doing in real life then too. He was hitting dingers and uh, stealing bases and striking out. You know, <laughs> That's pretty much what he, what he did that postseason what that card is you know it is what it is though guys um I, I would love to get into that world series i want to get that goldschmidt card if i'm able to get it i don't actually think i'm even gonna hold on to it because i love my freddie freeman and people are trying to put out orders for like three hundred thousand on that gold that goldschmidt so if i actually get it i'm going to probably sell it immediately and see how much uh money i can get for it, how many how many stubs i can get for it because um to me that it's much more valuable all right guys well that's the end of the game do me a favor guys if you like the video please like the video, leave me some comments. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, and hopefully I will catch you all soon. Later.